as we've stated, these nine short duration crop beds are going to get irrigated with drip tape. We're going to use the IBCs to collect the water. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how to do it. The two main considerations when specifying out your irrigation system is the area that you want to water and the supply that you're going to get the water from. In this case, we don't have any water here. We don't have city water yet. Our neighbors have told us the wells are horrible, so we're going to try and collect water off the buildings to do so. Right now, I've just dug out a bed for the irrigation valves that'll sit down in here, and I realized that I don't have all the parts that I need. So instead, we're going to flip-flop, and we're going to show you how to put the bed, the drip tape, into the beds. We've got nine beds to irrigate. We've got 550 gallons when full. So we don't have an extreme amount of water. We're going to use a very small pump. The pump is rated at three gallons per minute or 180 gallons per hour. So we're going to use drip tape that's got holes in it every eight inches that emits 20 gallons per hour per 100 foot row. Now our rows are only 50 feet. So we have 50 feet and 50 feet. Two lines of tape is a 100 foot row. 20 gallons per hour, 20 gallons per hour times nine. 180 gallons per hour, exactly what our pump will put out. So let's get to it. First, we're gonna lay out the header line. It's a solid piece of poly. We're gonna snake a piece underneath the greenhouse into where our valves are gonna be, and we're gonna run a line 100 feet long. This is gonna be the main supply. Once the water goes through the valves via the timer and the pump and gets pumped out, it's gonna run through this to each zone, each, well, excuse me, it's all gonna be one zone, but we'll call it three small zones that will irrigate three beds each and we're going to put drip tape around those. Because this is such a low volume system, we're going to loop the system, meaning we're going to run solid line around the beds and then drip tape two lines in between each bed so that we can have water supplying the drip tape from either sides so we get an equal amount of volume distribution across the whole thing. Okay, so now we've got our header row laid out the whole length of the row. We've cut and laid out tape, if you'll notice, in between each of the beds. If you look at the length, we made them uh, the same length, so all the tapes the same length. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to put a square around the three sets of uh, the three beds, and then we'll tie the tapes in. Let me show you how the fittings work. Okay, so this is a compression tee. It's got a compression fitting here. You push the pipe, the, the tape over the end of the pipe, slide it into that threaded compression, and then when you unthread it over the tape, it locks the tape on. On the pipe itself, you use a little puncture tool. I have a little mark where it's marked on here where it needs to go. Pop a little hole in there. You got a, a little press fitting, press it in there, boom, you're ready to go. Let's take a close up look here. Once again, we'll push the tape over the barbed fitting, unthread the compression. We're using 30 inch wide beds, so we are approximately 10 inches off the end of the bed. If we do 10 inches between the two approximately, poke our hole in the pipe. push our, our fitting in, that's all there is to it. Now we also have a valve here, we can control each and every one by turning this valve off and shutting off this line. If we shut it off on that side and on this side, we'll be able to cut the line off, water off completely. So if all the beds aren't planted or you're in between, you'll be able to control each and every line of tape by itself. If you haven't done so yet, give us a thumbs up, subscribe below, tell your friends, Stay tuned and we're going to show you exactly what we're doing here.